So now that you've seen the key features, let's take it out for a spin. So, first impression, good power, uh, the bike feels light and nimble, kind of as expected. One thing though I noticed uh, is that the tires are quite slippery, so uh, I really feel that when I use the rear brake. So something to consider I think for, to upgrade on the KTM Duke 200 are the tires. Definitely lives up to its uh, legend of uh, torque and power. Whew. Fun bike. Yeah, as you can see, um, the power is there. Yeah, so in higher revs, it has a, a moderate vibration to it. It's not uncomfortable, but you can definitely feel it. What are the things I like about this bike? What are the pros? Well, I think the first thing in, in its segment is that it's it is very powerful, strong, low to mid-range torque. It has a large fuel tank, which is good. So you don't need to worry about refilling too often while, I'd while out riding. Another pro of this bike, I think it, it is really good value. So it's, it's a powerful 200cc engine at the affordable price of 150,000 pesos. Within its segment, it's hard to beat this bike. So one unusual thing about this bike, it has an underbelly exhaust. Basically, um, instead of having you know the common type that's on the side, it's under, so you don't actually see the exhaust at first look. It's not that it's the first bike to have an underbelly exhaust system, but it's just relatively unusual. Are there things that I don't like about this bike? Well, I do believe in the Philippine market that they should release a model with ABS. I mean, that's pretty much, I, I would say, the only thing that, uh, the most important thing lacking on this bike would be ABS. Other things that could have been, you know, better would be LED headlights. Um, it's not really a deal breaker in any way, but uh, yeah, that, that would be good if, if they would consider adding that in their next release. So another thing I think is good on this bike is the dash. It's very easy to read and obviously uh, 
you don't get any glare off it so in any condition it's easy to see obviously this helps so i guess uh the the, the last thing that uh that i don't have a great first impression on are the tires so while riding i noticed uh, that they felt really slippery when i used the rear brakes so after that i kind of lost a bit confidence it, it felt slippery so I, I started putting more applying more pressure on the on the front brake instead so i kind of avoided the rear any other ktm duke 200 uh, riders that uh, has the same uh, impression i would be interested in to know in your comment section you can also uh, hear the fan it's quite loud uh, obviously it's it's very hot weather so uh, it's not disturbing in any way but uh, you can definitely hear the the fan working so another small thing that I like about this bike is the rear side brackets um, it makes it easy to move the bike around as well as if you have a, a rear passenger they have something to hold on to uh, on top of that you could also add uh, some type of luggage to it so it's a minor nice touch so let's go through the list of pro and cons uh, obviously as mentioned power and torque the handling is good it's nimble and precise also the dashboard is easily readable it's a good value purchase at 150,000 pesos and also I like the sporty design of this bike in terms of cons, I would say no ABS and as mentioned the stock tires could have been better. Alright, so what do you guys think? Would you consider getting the KTM Do 200 or do you think there's a better bike in this segment? Please leave your comments in the comment section and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.